Hey everyone, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment and this video is for the week ending in March 21st, 2009. So we ended another options month. Let's take a look at what happened this week with the market. Uh, we noticed last week we produced a, uh, this is a three year weekly view by the way. Uh, we produced a bullish engulfing pattern. Typically that is a bullish reversal pattern. Um, it's much more valid after a, a downtrend like we had uh, recently within this last couple of months. Now. This bullish reversal, uh, bullish engulfing pattern is only valid if we get some kind of follow through. And this week we managed to pull a little bit of follow through, not a whole lot. And we produce a small little candlestick telling us that even though last week was very bullish, um, there wasn't a whole lot of momentum that followed on into this week. The only thing is once if the market does trade underneath this bullish engulfing pattern, then this reversal is no longer valid. All right, so that's something to keep an eye on is make sure the market doesn't trade underneath the, the lows of this uh, level here. Otherwise, then, like I said, this bullish engulfing pattern is no longer a bullish reversal. But if you notice, with the, there's definitely some kind of divergence going on, some pretty heavy divergence with the MACD, as you can see here, uh, very divergent right there, as well as with the volume. You can uh, see here huge spikes in volume with these uh, huge declines. But even though the market made a new low, um, it didn't take a whole lot of volume to, volume to push it down uh, lower. So indicating another type of divergence, volume divergence as well, and indicating telling me that this is a, a weak leg lower. I mentioned last week that um, this could, last week was potentially a bottom, potentially, right, because we really don't know yet. But uh, what happened this week showed a little more bullishness, uh, bullishness um, into this market, more than I would expect. So going into a six month daily view, one of the things that I mentioned last week was this 50 day moving average. This has been uh, pretty much the Achilles tendon this, to this whole entire market. Notice how every time it tried um, to move higher, this 50 day moving average has been holding this market down here, 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 uh, back here as well. And look what has happened uh, earlier this week. We also managed to bump our head against this 50 day moving average. So once again, this 50 day moving average is providing some strong resistance in this market. So the question now is, will it be different this time? Will, will we be able to push through this 50 day moving average this time? Otherwise it'll be just like previously where we bump our head and then we start to decline again. We literally went from oversold to almost overbought in literally just a couple of weeks. So I do expect a little bit more pullback um, this following week to come. The only question is, will we produce a higher low? And by de definition, if we get a higher low and a higher high, that would be an uptrend. So if that is the case, then this would probably be uh, the bottom that we're looking for. Okay, zooming in a little bit, we noticed that the previous support is somewhere around here, that 75 level. Okay, so if we can get a decent bounce, uh, a higher low, and from that point on, get a higher high, then that would pretty much confirm that this is the bottom that, like I said, that we're waiting for, that we're looking for all this time, and then we can start looking to buy again. But even if we get this, it doesn't mean that you should load the boat. I mean, this is still a, a bear market, and it's still, this is probably gonna be a long-term or larger correction to the entire decline that happened since 2007. So what I will be looking for is right here, if we get some kind of support getting built around the 75 or at least the mid 70s level and we get a nice bounce and push through this 50 day moving average um, I would just make that as a confirming sign that this is definitely a, a, a start of a new uptrend for this market okay going into the VIX um, really nothing has changed even though we had a, a pretty nice bullish uh, week a couple of weeks we noticed that it, the market never went underneath this support level of, uh, of around 40 so this is going to be a critical support level so if the market can breach underneath, uh, get out of this range, notice how we are stuck within this range for almost two months now. Any break below here, down here, we would definitely see uh, more bullishness to the market. However, a breach above here would definitely mean there's more bearishness to the market. Right now, the sentiment as far as the market sentiment is concerned is sideways. So there's still a little bit of indecision going on in the market. But nonetheless, um, going back to the Going back to the market, you know, the main thing to look for is around here. We're pretty much at a critical, um, critical level right around this area. If we can get a nice bounce off of the support here and get a higher high, then like I said, that's our confirming sign that this is the bottom and that it's okay to start 
picking up some stock or start uh, becoming more bullish into this market. And then once uh, this market does take off, we should look for signs as to when this entire large correction will stop or uh, start fading again.